so yes welcome to the session today we'll design an antipodal vivaldi antenna which look like this mm, the sky blue color is a top view or a top copper this one will be your bottom side so okay then we'll start so first you need to select a new entry set here in template window select mwrf and optical antennas planar so our new window will be created so yeah this is what we have to design <clears throat> we are going to use f4 for substrate whose thickness is 1.5 mm so go to the modeling select brick Here will give substrate width will be minus WS by 2 to WS by 2, 0 to LS, it is minus HS. We need to load the material from here, library. We are using FR4, select lossy, click load, click on preview. So, width of the substrate is 180 mm. Length is 200 and height is 1.5. So, yes, you can see here our substrate has been created. In view, you can just remove this working plane also, so your substrate will be properly seen. So, now we have to this, design this curvature. So, you can see here there are two edges are there whose x-axis is quite longer than the y-axis, so it can be an elliptical shape. So in CST, what you can do is come to the modeling, here something called cylinder, go for elliptical cylinder, okay. So this will be xr, I'm going to use parameter yr, Height will be 0 to HC. HC is the height of the conductor. Change your material to PEC, which is a perfectly electric conductor. Click on preview. So XR, as of now, we'll use 87. YR, height is 0 0.035 mm. Now you can see here. Now we'll design second cylinder. Height will be C. So we'll use radius as 80. So what we have to do, we have to subtract these from the top. So this type of things will be creating. So now what you have to do is you have to pick the center of this one because we need, if you see here, the shape is something like this. So we have to divide this into four quadrant and from the second quadrant, we have to use that material. Okay, that shape we can say precisely. So first we have to come at the center. So how you can come at the center? Select the C, press C from the keyboard double click over here so what it will do is it will you will come at the center of this elliptical thing then select this uvw coordinate align wcs coordinate at the center now we have to slice this along uv so we need to rotate u at 90 degrees so come here rotate u by 90 degree so you can see v axis should be the along z axis okay you can watch this by speeding slow the video. So right click over here. We have something called slice by UV plane. So if you do that, our thing, our this one is divided into two parts. Now again, we need to rotate these. Okay. 
so your u will be in this uh, along w okay so we need to rotate v by 90 degree again this rotation you can watch it by you know, decreasing the speed so now again select this go by slice by uv plane sorry slice by uv plane now you can see here this shape is created now rest of the shape we can delete straight away yeah then we can remove uw coordinate also. so now you can see here properly this has been created now what we have to do is we have to translate this so select the center point of these by pressing M from the keyboard, double click outside and select the substrate center. Then just use the translate operation. Click on OK. It has been created. Now you can see here, so properly this shape is created. You can see here. Okay. Now we need this one pink color, which is on the ground. Okay. So we just wrote it. We need to rotate this. So for what, for that, what we can do, there are a number of ways are there. One way I will tell you, we need to select the surface, the center of the surface. So press A from the keyboard, double click over here. You can see the center of this face is selected. And again, again, assign UV W over here. Double click on that. Use operation called transform, translate and rotate. Okay, we need to rotate this in 180 degree. Keep a copy of that, click on OK. Now you can see here, the, hmm, top view is something like this if i see the bottom view it is like this okay if i hide the substrate you can see the properly vivaldi structure has been created okay now here number of things you can do you can add the slots over here for uh, getting proper high band and all so that type of things you can do i'll just assign the port to this one so select the top face center go to the home solver port calculate port extension coefficient yes. okay this is created properly so this is one of the way of vivaldi antenna which is antipodal vivaldi structure there are n ways are there so slowly we'll design that one also now this assign the frequencies will simulate it from 0 to 9 gigahertz click on ok this is uh, quite ultra wide band Vivaldi antenna. So if you simulate till 10, 12 gigahertz, you may get the good result. You can optimize these parameters also. Okay, X, R, Y, R, and R2. One thing you need to note here, like R2 should not be greater than X, R. Okay, if you do that, then there will be the designing issue. Okay, you can understand this at the start of the design only. <coughs> So by keeping that in mind, you can do the parametrical analysis and you can optimize the frequency range. So this I already simulated, I'm getting something over here result. I can optimize this and bring this down. Okay, then we'll stop here. Thank you.